back to my channel. My Concha Crew it is your girl Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. As always, let's welcome all the new subscribers to the Concha Crew. If you have not yet subscribed, do me a favor, go to the right. Yep, hit that bell so you're notified every time that I go live and every time that I post. We gotta make sure that that bell is notified so that you're notified of my videos and my lives. Um, I know there was a lot complaining that they're not getting my notifications. So what you wanna do is go ahead and unhit the bell and then hit it again, but make sure that that bell is set for notifications. As always, welcome to all the new subscribers. Wow, wow. So we are here, as I mentioned, I wanted to do a little different a little different, you know, vlog for you guys on my channel. And I'm here at one of my Nana, my Nana's favorite Mexican American places, named Manuel's Restaurant. There we go. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Yes. At Manuel's Mexican Restaurant and Cantina. So, you know, if you want to get a little going on, they got a Cantina here as well. So, I'm here trying Mexican American food at one of my Nana's favorite spots here in Avondale, Arizona. It's gonna be different. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna do the whole versus of authentic Mexican food. Oh, it's, it's gonna be for me because I'm here so they're applauding me. So you guys can drop the little applauding emojis. I'm just kidding. Okay. Ooh, they get the cha-cha one. Cha-cha-cha, they, they get lit here. So as I can see already on the menu, they got a huge selection of margaritas. I mean the margaritas that they have are all different kinds. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one that that kind of stands out the most because I have a lot of shout out to my viewers in Texas. This is called Manuel's Texas Classic Margarita and it's Jose Cuervo Gold Tequila, Gra Gala, Fresh Squeezed Orange Juice, and our Margarita Mix. That sounds delicious. But they have I mean there's a big variety. Look at that right there. That's just all the margaritas that they have here. And the appetizers, I mean, they have everything from a mini chimney plate, cheese crisps, nachos, you know. Again, I love when I see menus that have a little bit of everything because you have those picky ears. And you know, you have those ones that are like, don't like nothing, right? Um, but they have soups if you want a soup and salad. They have abonigas, tortilla soup. Um, they have, again, a big selection. And of course, they got the big menu, which I can't go over all this because this would probably be my whole my whole menu, right? I mean, my whole video, right? Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the menu and to see exactly what it is I'm gonna be ordering. Stay tuned. All right, so you know what time it is, right? Yes, it is that time. It is time for me to try the salsa. This is manual salsa. Go ahead and take a look at that. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Ooh, look at that. Off the back, I can tell that this is chunky salsa. I love me some chunky salsa. Don't get me wrong. So me and Ariel are gonna go ahead and try this together. There you go, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and let's know. Some American salsa. We love that American salsa. We do, I love that chunkiness. All right, ooh, here we go. Right there, let me see. I know, a little bit of salt. Don't worry about how much salt I put, worry about yourself. Yes, ma'am. Mm, off the bat, these, these tortilla chips are homemade. And they're very thin and crispy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, baby, get it. I'm gonna give me a big one. I want me a big one right here. Mm. This is really good. Mm. I love when I can taste the tomatoes and the cilantro mm. and the onion, garlic, spice. From one to ten, there's no spice. So those that you know, those that don't love that can't handle spice or don't love it, this is perfect for you. And for those that deal with heartburn like me, this is perfect for you and what you should be eating. But. I love me some spicy salsa, especially my salsa de chitapi, my salsa de arbol, you name it. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. This has been here since 1964. I have been here before, like I mentioned. This is my Nana Clara's favorite spot and also my, my family, which is my mom's side of the family. And it's right up the, you know, right up the road um, from where my mom, you know, was born and raised. 
uh, here in uh, Avondale. It's called Avondale, Arizona. It's a small little town on the outside um, of Phoenix, and it's grown. But I mean, let me tell you, I'm excited for Ariel to try this. And again, I wanted to bring something different. You know, yes, I go to the Mexican authentic places, but this right here is Mexican American. So you gotta stay tuned. I didn't know that they actually have spicy salsa. So the one that I was eating that's chunky, it's more of a mild salsa. It has, you know, as you guys seen, it has just a less, more of the flavor of the actual tomatoes and all that together. This right here is their spicy salsita. And you know it's spicy when you could see the seeds in there. So let's go ahead and let's give it a try. So we're gonna see how spicy it really is. And I'm gonna put a good amount on there though. So look at this. Right there. Oh, baby, you gotta try this too. Here we go. Take that bite. Everybody that loves that spice. So it's blended more. Oh, I'm gonna get me a big one. Mmm. So Ooh, that's show good. You Ooh, and that has a kick. It's way more blended. Yes, it is. Ooh, look at those Ooh, seeds. That's a lot of chili. I can taste. Okay, that. let me just. Um, I still can taste. Seeds. I taste like some type of oregano in there, but I do taste like a. There's like a chili. Oh my goodness. That is, I don't know if that's, that's not jalapeno because it's spicy. My, my tongue is on fire. So if you do not like spice, do not get this one. Mm. I still get that, like that smoked flavor. I want to say like it's like a smoked chili and they probably blend it all together with tomato sauce obviously but i'm trying to think what type of chili i would say that this is more like a chile de arbol yes yes because it's spicy it, it's almost as spicy like um like chita bean but it's a little bit different yeah it's so yeah it's kind of close to chita bean but it's a little bit different i want to say it's chile de arbol and that chili the chili of the tree <laughs> for those <laughs> i'm sorry don't speak Spanish. I'm over here. Blah, 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 and you guys are probably like, what? What is she saying? Chili de Arbol is a certain chili. And in English, it's that you, you call it chili of the tree. Mm. You chips? Mm. They are delicious. Very light. And that crispiness. I can't get over the crispiness. That right there. This These two salsas, the chunky one and this one. One day 10, they're a 10. But again, if you want a mild, chunky salsa, it would be the other one. And this would be that one that gives you that kick. So if you want that spice, get it, get it, pica. Get it, get This is it. All right, ya llegó la comida. The food has arrived, you guys. I'm going to go over what it is that I got and what Ariel ordered. So right here, I got the pollo especial. This is delicious chunks of chicken and mild chilies wrapped in a flour tortilla, deep fried and covered with green norteño sauce, melted cheese, and a delicious jalapeño cream cheese sauce. And shout out to my tia Maria because she had recommended for me to try this here. I usually get this, but it's usually called pollo fundido or fundida, fundido. <laughs> and right here, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is Ariel got. Ariel got the Tres Amigos Enchilada Dinner, which is a tomatillo chicken enchilada, a cream cheese spinach enchilada, and a red shredded beef enchilada served with also rice and beans. Yes, so we are ready. And if you guys can please join me as always, I will go ahead and say my prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, please bless this this meal. Thank you for the blessing of this meal. Please bless the hands that made this. May this be nutrition to our bodies. Again, dear Lord, we're thanking you for the blessing of this meal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Oh, let me turn my phone off over here. You guys are looking. Lo voy a dar acá. And of course, you guys, I have to mention, I ordered, I'm so obsessed with this jalapeno cream cheese. So don't mind me because I'm about to a drizzle it all on top look at that i'm gonna add it oh yep let me tell you if you have not tried this jalapeno cream sauce you have to this thing is not gonna look cute no more and i don't care that it don't look cute but you have to drizzle this all on top okay there goes one and now what i here goes the next one mm. 
Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and smear it. Yep. Smear it. Mm. All right. And I am ready to eat. What about you, babe? I am so ready. I'm excited to, to you know, for Ari to try this place. I've tried this place, but I didn't get this. Um, I think when I came with my Nana and my family, um, I got something different. So let's go ahead and let's dig in. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what's inside this. Here we go. If we can, if we can find the inside, right? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and show you exactly what's inside this. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness. There's chicken, tomato. Oh, I can see cilantro. Oh my goodness. And that chicken, oh, seasoned perfectly. Let me go ahead and take the first bite so that you guys can see that up close. Let's go ahead. I need some of this right here. Oh, can't forget that, that crema. Ready? Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm telling you, it's cream. It's cream cheese with jalapeno. I want to say it's like blended. Mm. I don't know, but that is so good. It's jalapeno, cream cheese. The chicken is juicy. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm over here like, I don't even know what to do. Mm -mm. How is it, babe? What's it taste like? Uh, okay, just the combination. I, I want to say it's like a chimichanga. The the alone, the chicken is just so melts in your mouth. It's filled with flavor. It's not dry. In combination with that jalapeno cream sauce, Dios mio. Oh my goodness. Is it spicy? No, no spice. Filled with flavor. I mean, the minute you put it in your mouth, it's it's a big old bomba. Mm -hmm. All right, babe's gonna try mine. Look at that right there, yes. I'm sorry, you don't have to get that crema if you don't want, but. I love me some crema. That crema right there, that sour cream, jalapeno cream cheese is just an added enhanced. Okay, so Ariel's gonna get that bite right there. Ooh, okay. And that's the end corner, so you don't see a lot of, I don't see a lot of chicken because it's the end corner, but you know her. You're making me second guess it. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead, okay. babe. Oh, I can see some chili. Okay. Go ahead. Mm, mm. My mouth is watering over here. Ooh, that was good. Mm. What, do, what do you think? Describe. <laughs> that is a bomb chili. <laughs> What do you oh think of the, of the jalapeno cream cheese? Mm. It's a whole different flavor. It doesn't taste like a like a regular cream cheese. You can taste it. It has a little spice in it, but it's not like super hot. It's very mild. Melts in your mouth? Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? One to ten? Oh That's a whole 20. I love shimmings. Don't come for me, but it reminds me of like those Walmart brand ones that I love to get. The chimichangas? Yes. Oh, there we go. There's all the chicken because I know a lot of people are going to say there's not chicken. She got the corner. Now she's going to get the chicken. That's a lot and of I chicken. I the tomato and I love tomato. And that first bite that I got, there was like a huge... Let's see that. Mmm, juicy. All right, baby. Let's, we're going to see. We want to see what you got there. She's still working on mine over here. Look at her. One more bite. Mm. Okay. Ooh, I have to take that okay, so now let's go ahead and have my babe try her Tres Amigos right there. Ooh. I don't even know which one I should try first because I grew up on the red, um, the red enchiladas, so uh -huh. that's like my favorite. But this um, cream cheese, what is it, cream cheese spinach? That one's yeah. interesting, so I'm really, I'm curious. Try that one then, try that one first for everybody. All right, she's gonna try that cream and spinach. Ooh, okay. All right, look at that right there. There goes that spinach in there with the cream. Mm. Gotta be healthy, right? Yep, we're trying to be healthy, <laughs> showing you healthy type of different Mexican selections mm. of food. Okay. I'm interested. I'm interested too. <laughs> Describe it, mm. I'm waiting. I'm like, come on, we waiting. That's really good. 
you can taste a little bit of the spinach, but it doesn't. If I didn't know that was spinach, I wouldn't. I wouldn't guess that it's spinach. Uh huh. Oh my god, that tastes really good. You could taste more of the cream cheese, so it's more of like that cream cheese taste. Uh -huh. Really light on the spinach, but it's really good. So I feel like it's a hint of spinach. Really tasty. So that's a I healthy alternative again. for those that want to eat healthy. You can have spinach cream enchiladas. There, go ahead, take that bite. I would get this again, to be honest. Like it, it, it that's what attracted me to getting this. So uh -huh. I could try it because I've like, never had this before. Uh huh. Honestly, I would get it again. One to ten, just that enchilada. Dang. Okay. It's a ten because I would definitely get it again. All right. Like, to me, it's not bad at all. But my boo is about to try it next. Yes. <laughs> all right. So now it's my turn to try this chicken tomatillo enchilada. I'm excited. This is what Ariel got, but I'm gonna try it. Mm. That is so good. Wow. I busted out with the Mark Wayne's. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is so much deal. Like. See how it's different. Mm -hmm. it, it does taste like a little bit of a, a, a green chili in China, mm -hmm. but it's different because it's tomatillo. I think the tomatillo gives that 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 chicken like this kind of like a the flavor. yeah, it enhances the flavor, but it has like a I want to say like a like a lemon taste to it, and it's not spicy. So if you're wondering if it's spicy, not at all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start over here finishing but I'm gonna try the beans that's another thing here I want to know what these beans taste like I'm excited so I'm gonna do the beans first and then of course I mix it with my rice Ooh, wow oh yeah these beans are so creamy oh, my sister Christina would love these let's go ahead and try the rice let's let's give that The rice, I will say, needs a little bit more tomato, and it would be it would be to my liking. But I think for someone who doesn't like a lot of heavy tomato and they like the more lighter taste of tomato, this is perfect for you. But this is good. Mm. That's bomb. That's blossom. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over here. Man, it's delicious. And let me tell you a little bit about the ambience here. It's so cute. It's open. You know, I like how it's it's not like, again, where you're just sitting there like this against everybody. If you can see in the back a little bit. There's, you know, they have the booths, you know, all different sizes. So if you have a big old family, a family of 10, your family of 10 can be seated down. Mm. This is where I say, no matter what type of Mexican food, Everyone has a different type of ingredient, recipe, flavor. Mm. Ariel's right. Like, they had to definitely boil this chicken. Mm. I have been heavy in. Have been here. Let me compare it to an authentic Mexican restaurant. When I'm comparing it, I'll say this. Very delicious. Thank you. And when I'm, and that was right there, he is amazing. He's our server and awesome, very attentive, very nice. But when I'm comparing this to an authentic Mexican place, they don't use sour cream. They use crema, which this right here is obviously sour cream. Oh no, excuse me, this is cream cheese. And obviously it's blended, so that's why it's a little bit more on the watery base. But um, again, just a different flavor it's hard for me to even say like um you know for example the um like this right here i don't think that they would serve this in a mexican authentic mexican place i think this more this is more of a creation of mexican american yeah it's it's, it's like a like kind of text mixes i would say yes yeah, it's it's Americanized. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a Mexican dish that they, you know, Americans just kind of throw in their own little mixture. Uh -huh. it's, it's good. I love it. But I can see, yes, yeah, it's, it's not authentic. However, their beans are made with lard. You guys already know I'm big on that. Mm-hmm. 
These are no Rosarita type beans. And if you like Rosarita, you do, because me and Ariel do. You know, there's times where we're like, we're not going to be doing a whole crock pot or uh, oh yeah, big old, you know, big old um, pot of beans. No, we just get like the simple Rosarita beans and call it a wrap. Mm. I can't tell you, this is delicious, Maria. Thank you so much for recommending this. Mm. I am in heaven. If you are here, and they have a different locations, Ariel was telling me. They have something in like Gilbert. They have them in Phoenix. Yeah, they have them in Glendale, Phoenix, Scottsdale, um, Avondale. I mean, it, it seems like they're all over the place. Yeah, so definitely I would recommend, if you want my honest review, I'm recommending that you come to Manuals. And remember, I paid for this. Uh, this is not a sponsorship or a sponsored video. I am recommending this because this is delicious. Mm. That big bite though. Mm. And they are not spooky. This is all chicken right here. All chicken. Mm. Turn down your phones. Because there's going to be a lot of... Mm, mm, mm. I don't need nobody to be like, wow, well, you know, my girlfriend, my wife, my husband, my my boyfriend looked at me crazy. <laughs> Baby's over here quiet. I'm telling you. Mm. I can come eat here. Have you ever had uh, a spinach enchilada? I've never had a spinach enchilada. Never. That is something different. I don't. I, I don't think. I mean, you could correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I don't think in Mexico that they. I don't think, or maybe I've I never had spinach enchilada. Have has anyone? I mean, in Mexico. Don't say I make them. I mean, I'm saying in Mexico. Have you had that? Yeah, I feel like it, it definitely sounds American. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm interested. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Just the sounds of it, it's, it's a little intimidating because you don't know. You expect to have something like greeny and just, you know, healthy yeah. or tasty. But well, it was bomb. It if that's what really it takes good. to be healthy, then let me have some spinach enchiladas every day. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. Babe, how was their, their red one? The red one was good. Um, I feel like to make the sauce, the, the chili, uh -huh. I feel like they use different chili. I don't know if it's just like a mild chili or... So it's I, more of a, you think a different flavor, like a mild like chili? It's a slightly different flavor than like your typical enchilada sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it, but I am a fan of regular chilies where it has a little bit more spice. And I'm gonna good say, good. their portions, it's just different. they have big portions here. Like they give you a good amount of rice, they give you a good amount of cut, uh, beans. And another thing, if you see the camera moving a little bit, it's just because the booth that we're in happens to it's be a little bit smaller. And you know, my babe, that's a big old. So of <laughs> course it's moving, but oh my goodness, I'm, all, I'm almost finished this. Here, babe, I want you to try so you can show, um, Share your perspective on the sauce. Okay. So I'm going to try the traditional red chili enchilada. Go ahead. And it's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's, I can just tell it's a different flavor. Like a slight different flavor. It is very different. Um, that has... Mm, it's more of a, a lighter chili. Like it's, it's probably... I mean, it has flavor, it does, but um, the ch red chili is not very powerful. And I feel like a lot of times when, you know, we make homemade enchilada sauce, the chile is very flavorful. flavor and... This is very, it's, it's light. Yes. So to those that don't like the strong enchilada sauce, you know, because sometimes, you know, they have different ones. That would be one for you. So if you don't like that strong enchilada taste, that's it. Yeah. And it goes good with the beans. Sorry, I needed that back. It wasn't going to stay in my napkin. I'm like, nope. 
you're too good. You're coming back out here because you're gonna get eaten. Baby, you wanna try this though? Well, She'll be here living life. Yeah. That's how you know what's good, babe. It finally made it to your shirt. <laughs> what do I say? What do I say? If it doesn't land on your face oh, yeah, or your sure. then it doesn't belong on your plate. I know. I'm sorry. And nobody act like, you know, you don't make a mess. Because, of course, when you're eating and it's good, you know, you're not if, worried. If you ain't messing when you eat, it ain't good. Yes. Sometimes little people don't like messy eaters, which is understandable. It's to your liking and your preference. Mm. I haven't noticed that I've almost finished everything. And usually I'm like, okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I'm going to finish my food. Wow. And another thing, too, is there's olives. You know, I feel like a lot of the Mexican American, they put, a, they use like the garnish of olives. Uh, for me, you know, the authentic Mexican food, I don't see any olives. Like they don't put olives in their enchiladas. They don't put olives in their chimichangas. It's, uh -huh. it's yeah, that's that's the difference between them. Mm. I'm actually guilty of putting um, olives on my enchiladas, and it's not all the time. I just I love olives in general, like the green ones, the mm. black ones. I love them both. But I've, I've done it just for that extra little flavor. So comment below. Are you like Ariel and you put um, olives. olives on your enchiladas? Don't get me wrong. I'll do it like that all the time. But when I'm in the mood and I'm craving olives, you can find some olives on my uh -huh. enchiladas. And I forgot to tell you that I'm, I'm drinking water. Um, the reason is because I love water. I'm a big time water person and sometimes I want a soda with my meal, but for the most part, she can let you guys know, I love water. Love water. Yeah. Especially what, babe? What type of water? Pure life. <laughs> Pure life. The net so when she gets her P.O. box, she'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Don't send her nothing else unless it's pure life water and she'll love you forever. Exactly. You know, and talking about the peel box, I'm kind of, I mean, I want to get one, but then I'm like, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Should I do a peel box? I mean, we're in a new year, and I know I've been saying, yeah, I'm going to look into it, and I have things going on. And also, I want to look into merchandise. I want to bring some merchandise out. And we, I mean, Diane, she already has so many ideas and, like, things she wants to put out, so... You know, yeah. I told her to do it, so she needs a little encouragement from the Point Chef crew. Just tell her, hashtag just do it. <laughs> hashtag just do it. Yeah. But let me know what you guys think. Should I bring some merchandise out? Should I really get a P.O. box? Just let me know. Comment below. Um, you're probably asking why I have lots of rice probably left. Remember, I'm not a big time rice person. I did love the rice. Again, I just prefer mine's a little bit more with tomato. But this is a lighter side of it. So for those that don't like that strong can of tomato uh, sauce, this is perfect for you, like my sister Christina. Yep, I'm the same way. Look at I'll Ariel's. Focus on the enchiladas. But show them, look at, look at Ariel. This tells you right here. We ain't gonna give you no falsified. And I was falsified. eating a lot of the spinach. It's just this one's pushed out more instead of like the other ones. <laughs> We're not gonna give you no falsified. Again, we pay for our meals. So we give you here honest reviews. I'm gonna tell you the honest review. What I may like, you may not like. I'm always gonna say that because some people may like this type of rice and some people may not. Some people may not like this uh, cream, uh, jalapeno cream cheese stuff. It's all to your liking, that's what matters. But as far as, I'm already full. What about you, babe? I'm full. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ya me llene. So I'm gonna go ahead and end my vlog here. Remember to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I go live and every time that I post. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support. I will see you guys on my next vlog. Adios.